Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is LaTori and I create fashion and fragrance content. So if you are interested in either of those things, please consider subscribing. So today I am back with another fragrance video and we are going to be discussing Byredo's Ball de Freak. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts, then please stay tuned. This is the packaging for um, Ball de Freak. It's a very beautiful presentation. It comes in a white box or a white sleeve that covers the box and it just has a big B on the front and by Rado written in a circle on the back and it's just a very lovely presentation the name is embossed on the side it's just very beautiful and once you open it this is what you get there is um, a little envelope with like a story about the fragrance right here. And then you have the actual bottle. So all of the Byredo packaging is the same. Um, this is what you get. If it will focus, this is the bottle. The attention to detail in this bottle is also really nice. Like I said, the closure is magnetic. And along with that, the atomizer at the top, it has, um, if it will focus, a B engraved in the top, which I think is just a very nice touch. And also this is like a raised, the text here is raised. So it's like you can feel um, the lettering on the bottle, which is also a really nice touch. I'm going to do a spray here. And this is such a soft, like lovely scent. It's, it is very ambery. It is very woody, but it's also, it has like a freshness to it that I don't typically find in most amber based fragrances. It's like um, a fresh musky scent, if that makes sense. It's very, very, it's very lovely. It's kind of powdery, but not in a bad way at all. This is something that I could easily, easily see someone um, wearing as their signature scent because it's just so easy. It's elegant, it's classic, but it's not something that would, um, be off-putting to anyone. So this is really something that you could wear to any occasion at any time. And because it has like a freshness to it, it's not something that you would get tired of. So you could easily wear this from day to day and still just be as in love with it with, the, with as the first time that you smelled it. So with me, when I smell this, like I said, I get like something powdery lemon and like amber um those are the main things that jump out at me at first sniff and although this is kind of i wouldn't say it's light but it's kind of airy it has like um like this the scent itself is not light as in you don't get longevity or it's not noticeable, but light as in like the feeling. It's not like super heavy or overpowering, if if that makes sense, light in that way where it's very gentle, um, but it's noticeable. It's definitely there. This is something that um, I've been wearing for like the last week or so just to test it out to see how it wears. And while it is a light fragrance, um, it definitely makes an impact. You don't need a lot of sprays to notice it and you um, will definitely still smell it after several hours have gone by, which is something that I love. A lot of fragrances that are marketed as unisex usually lean more feminine or more masculine. In my opinion, they typically just lean more masculine, but this is truly neutral, gender neutral. Um, I can picture really anyone wearing this. It just smells that good. Um, 
because this is something that, like I said, could easily be a signature scent, I would definitely, if this, if that's the reason that you're interested in this as a signature scent, I would also suggest picking up the body wash and the body lotion that they also sell in the same fragrance, just because layering your scents, um, just make them last a little longer. This is the 1.7 fluid ounce bottle and it typically retails for $190. I got it um, during a Black Friday sale that Essence was having and I paid $118 for it. So let's get into the notes. And based on Fragrantica, the top notes are Amafi Lemon, which is definitely very prominent. Black currant, bergamot, African orange flower, and another type of flower that I cannot pronounce, but will be on the screen. Um, the middle notes are violet, jasmine, and another flower that will be on the screen. And the base notes are vetiver, amber, musk, and Virginia cedar. Um, so the amber, the musk, and the Virginia cedar are there to me from the beginning. You don't even really have to wait for the dry down to get any of that. And it just all comes together um, in a really nice way. As much as this is a unique scent, um, it is a smell that feels very familiar. Um, so for me, like it make, that makes it comforting. Like it smells like something that I remember from a long time ago. I can't exactly place it. Um, but it has like a familiar quality, even though it's not common among amongst like new fragrances and perfumes and things like that. I feel like it has almost like a vintage quality to it, not in a way that it has like an old lady smell, but in a way that it feels like cozy and at home, at least for me. I would definitely recommend this. I will repurchase this once I complete this bottle. Um, as far as longevity, you will probably get about seven to eight hours of wear out of this with like light to moderate sprays. Um, I usually do about three or four with this one and that gets me through the day. Um, as far as projection, I would say that is also moderate, but with this type of scent, I think that's kind of the point. I don't think that this was intended to be um, something that is overpowering, but rather the purpose is to kind of be like understated. And I enjoy that about this. I feel like there's a time and place for everything. And so this is one that, like I said, because it is more understated, it can easily take you really to any place at any time. Um, it wears kind of close to the body, but not. it's definitely not a skin scent, um, but it's also not some crazy throw or projection that you're gonna get with this. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend this. This is definitely signature scent worthy. I think this is something that people will remember if they smell this, um, like remember you or think of you if they smell this somewhere else. Um, this is also, I know Byredo offers candles. This would also be a lovely fragrance for your home just because it is kind of light and clean, but still like sweet and cozy and homey. Um, so I have to look into that because I would really enjoy this as a candle as well. I think that um, this is also something that can be worn in any season. I usually reserve like a lot of my amber based scents for cooler weather but this one because maybe the lemon um i feel like this would be really really nice in warm weather as well so this is definitely a year-round fragrance so i think even with the cost um being what it is you will definitely get your money's worth because you can literally wear this at any time or any place whereas a lot of other like expensive niche fragrances, it's kind of very specific. So it's like, this is for this time, this place, because it's, they can sometimes be so overpowering, at least the ones that I have in my collection, but maybe that's just what I like to choose. Um, but yeah, this is definitely very versatile. I think this is a crowd pleaser. 
I think it's popular for a reason and I would definitely recommend you giving this a try if you have not already. If you have made it to this point in the video, please consider subscribing if you have not already and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.